Faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. Welcome to today's message from Harvest Chapel International. We believe the message will be a blessing to you as you imbibe God's truth. God bless you. Be our song that we will always be praising the Savior. And for me, it is important that this is a, a blessed assurance. That means it's a guarantee. That means it's a done deal. That means it is for sure. That means that it is reliable. It is dependable. It is a blessed assurance. And the same God that has watched over us all these 10 months and giving us the privilege of entering the 11th month that same God will watch over us he will take us to the end of this year and we will be praising him we will be declaring that this is our blessed assurance this is our anchor this is our guarantee this is what he has given to us my prayer is that in the morning we will praise him in the afternoon we'll praise him in the evening we'll praise him when things are going well we'll praise him when things are not going as well as we want them to we will still praise him because we know that his word tells us that everything will work together for our good and he is a faithful God he is a reliable God he is a dependable God he has never changed his promises remain yes and amen and we declare that may those promises keep us through all the changing scenes of life may those promises preserve us through thick and thin may they, those promises be our source of solace and encouragement in every season of our lives we declare again that we have a blessed assurance that jesus is ours and because he is ours we will go through every situation and every circumstance with our heads lifted up he is our shelter he is our shield and he is also the one who continues to lift up our heads tonight we are reminding ourselves that we have a covenant keeping god and that covenant is sealed in the blood of jesus and up to today and for eternity that blood will still speak for us i am praying in the name of jesus christ that this will be an evening of refreshing it will be a time of renewal it will be a time of inner strengthening it will be a time of realignment into the purposes of god and that we will know beyond any shadow of doubt that the one whom we serve he is both the alpha and the omega he is both the beginning and the end he is the one who continues to lift up our heads he is our light and our salvation he is our deliverer and our god he is our healer and he is our provider he is the god who is always there he is the one that we can depend on he is a maker and he is our creator he is the one who makes all things beautiful in his time he is jehovah shama he is jehovah who is our rafa he is jehovah who is our chicken he is jehovah who is our 
our he is our um, uh, our pavilion and he is our provider i want you to close your eyes this evening may he be jehovah jireh to somebody may he be the healer to somebody may he be the restorer to somebody may he be the ever constant god to somebody father we ask that as we have gathered in your name under your covering speak to us from your word cause faith to be stirred up in us let this blessed assurance be our continuing experience and maybe that the purpose for which you brought us here tonight will be fully accomplished let every mind and every heart be brought under the instruction direction and provision of the word of god maybe that that word will be exalted above everything maybe that that word will prevail for us we thank you in the name of jesus christ of nazareth amen why don't you put your hands together for the lord and please take your seats this month our theme is activating or actualizing the blessings of Abraham to actualize something is to make it real to make it manifest to experience it so we can say that you know experiencing the blessings of Abraham and we realize when we look in the word of God that Abraham has got certain characteristics and he entered into a certain covenant with God and we will see from the word of God that he is for those of us who belong to Jesus Christ Abraham is our father hallelujah and that is the basis on which we can also stand to claim the blessings of Abraham a blessing is a good thing a blessing is a good report a blessing is something desirable a blessing is something that you congratulate about we all look forward to a blessing hallelujah so when we are talking about the blessing of Abraham you must already begin to smile we are praying that in this month of November whatever it takes to experience the blessing of Abraham may God give us revelation may he give us direction may he give us counsel so that we can walk in that blessing because we need a blessing the opposite of a blessing is a curse but we want a blessing hallelujah and may not god not only give us a showers of blessing may he give us a deluge of blessing hallelujah may he give us a tsunami of blessing may he give us blessing that will cause our cups to overflow so that we'll be so blessed that we can be a blessing and that is where god wants us to be i believe that god wants us to get to the point where we will be a blessing so whatever it takes for us to enjoy the blessing so that we get to the point where we become a blessing we must follow in that trajectory because that is where god wants us to be that is why the bible tells us in genesis chapter 1 verse 26 that god gave us gave man a certain instruction genesis chapter 1 
verse 26 genesis the first book of the bible and god said let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea over the fowl of the air over the cattle over all the earth over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth so god created man in his own image in the image of god created he male and female created he them that's 28 and god blessed them hallelujah so when we are talking about blessing it is a good thing to be blessed he said and god blessed them and then he said that this will be the manifestation of that blessing you will be fruitful you will multiply you replenish the earth you subdue it you have dominion over the fish of the sea over the fowl of the air over every living thing that moveth upon the earth so in the plan of god in the ultimate purpose of god he made us so that we will live a blessed life hallelujah and then when we look also in the scripture in galatians chapter 3 and we'll probably stay there for a few minutes so we are talking about activating the blessing of abraham i'll just try and touch the surface tonight i'm sure during the course of this month we'll have a lot of revelation on that galatians chapter 3 we'll look at verse 13 um you know when you have the opportunity just try and read galatians chapter 3 christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law let's go back to verse 9 it says so then they which be of faith are blessed with faithful abraham hallelujah so that puts us in a certain position so when, when we are talking about the blessing of abraham i want us to realize that we are in the line of the blessing of abraham he says that those who are of faith they are blessed with faithful abraham look at verse 10 and then he says for as many as are of the words of the lord they are under a curse for it is written a curse is everyone that continues not in all the things which are written in the book of the lord to do them verse 11 but that no man is justified by the law in the sight of god it is evident for the just shall live by faith verse 12 and the law is not of faith but the man that doeth them shall live in them verse 13 now christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law being made a curse for us for it is written curse is everyone that hangeth on the tree and then verse 14 now says that the blessing of abraham might come on the gentiles through jesus christ so it means that when you are talking about just by laying a foundation when you are talking about the blessing of abraham we realize that the blessing of abraham will come to us the gentiles through jesus christ hallelujah so when we talk about the god of abraham the god of isaac the god of jacob the god of jesus christ the god of harvest chapel the god of you also the blessing of abraham if you belong to jesus christ that entitles you to the blessing of abraham hallelujah and the blessing of abraham you know there are many dimensions to it but three general directions that you know dimensions we can think about are first a blessing of excellent health hallelujah so i'm trusting god in this month in the days ahead in the weeks ahead in the months ahead in the years ahead god will keep us in perfect health we will walk in divine health it's 
part of the blessing of Abraham. Hallelujah. And then also this blessing of Abraham, it gives us long life. So that we will not die before our time. And we need to key in into that blessing. We need to tap into that blessing. The blessing is there, but we need to find out ways by which that blessing can become ours. That blessing can become our experience. That blessing can become something that we embrace. That we do not just talk about the blessing of Abraham, but we live out the blessing of Abraham. And then we will see also that another dimension of the blessing of Abraham is wealth prosperity abundance hallelujah and so it is not wrong for a believer to want to be wealthy in fact if you are not wealthy you cannot help those who need help hallelujah and so i believe that there's a certain extent or there's a certain dimension or there's a certain way in which if we do not if 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 we do not key into the blessing of abraham then we are not living our full christian lives there are many needs in the church and there are a lot of people who will even like to meet those needs but you find yourself limited but i'm praying that as we get the revelation about how to actualize the blessing of abraham you will know that you too can be rich you too can be wealthy you too can experience the abundance of god it has everything to do with knowing your heritage through jesus christ hallelujah and where you are is not where you are going to end things are going to get better for you hallelujah the light of god will shine you will become stronger you will become richer you experience the blessing of god because that blessing comes to you by virtue of the fact that you belong to jesus christ hallelujah 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 may this blessing may we get a revelation of the blessing of abraham you find out when you look at the life of abraham that abraham was a very great person he lived a long strong life when you look in genesis chapter 12 verse 1 verse 2 it tells us various dimensions of this blessing he says that wherever your your the soles of your feet touch i'm giving it to you he says that those that bless you they will be blessed those that curse you they will be cursed there are there are various areas of that blessing the lord said to abraham get thee out of your country from your kindred from your father's house into a land that i will show you in this month may you have a change in your thinking may you get out of your country out of your kindred out of your father's house may you know that your life will not be limited by whatever experience your parents or your sibling or any member of your family had hallelujah that has to happen so that we can now begin to walk into the blessing or begin to activate or actualize the blessing of god through abraham he says i will show you a land that you should go to may god show you something this month hallelujah may god give you a solution this month may god give you a revelation this month may god give you some direction this month may god give you a shift or a change from where you are to where you ought to be god has made us not so that we will be receivers but so that we will be givers but you cannot give what you do not have 
and so it must begin to be able to actualize the blessing of abraham we must do what abraham did move out of your country move out of your way of thinking move out of the limitations that you have move out of the kind of you know um, 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 stereotypes that you have we don't have rich people in this church but we need some rich people in this church hallelujah the way you are looking at me it's as if you don't want to be rich if you knew how to be rich you knew that you are watching me right now if you knew if you had a formula for being rich I'm sure you'll follow it but there is a formula it's in the word of God and may you get that revelation somebody say amen and verse 2 he said and then I will make of you a great nation may God make a great nation of you hallelujah when your name is mentioned in your family may men and women rise up may they praise you hallelujah and he says that i will not only make a great nation of you but he says i will bless you i will give you a good report i will make you happy and then he says that i will also make your name great hallelujah there are seeds of greatness in us and my prayer is that by revelation we will be able to activate these seeds of greatness in us we will not take the seeds of greatness to the grave the world will be blessed by these seeds of greatness amen and then he said that when i make your name great i will also make you a blessing hallelujah every day that somebody sees you may the person thank god for your life because you're a blessing you're a blessing you will not be the kind of person that people want to run away from because when they see you you are going to ask them for something may you be the person that when they see you they'll be happy when they come to church and they find out you are in church they are happy no matter how the rest of the church will be like because they know that somebody is there that will bless them and it's a good thing to bless people hallelujah it's a good thing to bless if every son i keep on saying this if every sunday some people come into church and they just make hot meals available to people to come and have free meals in church is it a bad thing it's a good thing if every time some people come to church their children's service they bring them cake and chocolate is it a good thing it's a blessing but you cannot give what you don't have hallelujah hallelujah if we have some people in the church who have buses who say that these buses will collect people from vantage points and bring them to church every sunday every tuesday every friday every saturday isn't it a good thing hallelujah he says that and you shall be a blessing let's do verse three and then i'll come to the one or two things i want to say this evening verse three please and then it says i will bless them that bless you hallelujah and then i will curse them that curse you and then he said in you shall all families of the earth be blessed this is what god told abraham and for us to be able to actualize the blessing of abraham we must know what the blessing is he said that it's through you abraham that all the families of the earth will be blessed may every family be blessed may every family represented here be blessed 
I believe that there are many ways, practical ways, in which we can actualize this blessing of Abraham. So we see, we've seen the dimensions of that blessing. Our good health, our long life, our wealth, making us a blessing. And we've seen that the way to do it is by getting out of our kindred, getting out of our mindset being able to see things the way God is seeing them, being able to see ourselves the way God sees us. I am what God says I am. Hallelujah. And I am a winner. I am not a loser. I am a rich man. I am not a poor man. I am a wealthy man. I am not a poverty-stricken man. Hallelujah. When you say that and you find out during this month i am sure in one way or the other you'll find out that the way blessings are passed on is by words hallelujah that for you to receive a blessing the channel that is why your words should be words of blessing they should be they should not be words of curses because when you look at the life of abraham the way abraham passed on the blessing to isaac and he, isaac passed on the blessing to jacob and jacob to his children it was all by words 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 will create a reality hallelujah in Romans chapter 4, when we look all the way from verse 17, we find out that there was a certain characteristic of Abraham. I believe that that is one important way. I'll just stop, I'll probably talk about two ways in which we can actualize this blessing of Abraham. We have seen some of the dimensions of this blessing of Abraham. And we are saying that how do we get there? And when we look in Romans chapter 4, when we look from verse 17, talking about Abraham, it says that I have made thee the father of many nations before him who believed, even God who quickened the dead and called the thing, those things that be not as though they were, verse 18. And so speaking about Abraham, he said that who against so believed in hope that he might become the father of many nations according to that which was spoken so shall your seed be and not being weak in faith he considered not his own body now dead when he was about a hundred years old neither yet the deadness of Ab Sarah's womb he staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief but was strong in faith giving glory to god for us to actualize the blessing of abraham we must be people of faith hallelujah we must be men and women of faith we must say that i am not moved by what i hear i'm not moved by what i see i am only moved by the word of god and that word says that for we walk by faith and not by sight if we are going to actualize these promises of abraham that we have read about that he will make us great that he will bless us that we will be a blessing then we must know that this can come only by faith and that faith we activate that faith through the word of god we activate that faith through prayer we activate that faith through acts of faith may god give you a revelation about some acts of faith this month we must walk by faith for this blessing of abraham to become ours we must take it by faith and faith is not only a declaration but faith is also an act when you do something god will bless it 
this month may you do something that god will bless may you not sit down and fold your arms and cross your legs and say that i don't have anything to do and i don't have anybody to help me remember that the lord your god is your help he will give you something to do and as you begin to take a walk of faith i am telling you that by that means you will be actualizing or placing yourself in the position where you can be a beneficiary of the blessing of abraham let us be men and women of faith wake up in the morning and say god i believe that you are going to give me a job i'm not going to sit in my house i will go out i will knock upon a certain door i will pray i will trust you and i will keep doing it until i get what i'm looking for hallelujah abraham was a hundred years but he still believed god he still was not weak in faith he gave glory to god every morning that he woke up he sang a new song of praise and said god i know my miracle is one day closer than it was yesterday i am praying that this month and this year when you wake up in the morning you know that you are one day closer to that breakthrough and may you live a life of faith faith depends on god faith depends on the provision of god the apostle says have faith in god or have the god kind of faith may we have men and women who will rise up and say that i believe that god is faithful and true i believe that i am a giver and not just a receiver i will look for something to do with my hands I was talking to some people not too long ago a couple of weeks ago and so they were looking for jobs and I said that look you have gone to school you are qualified but you haven't got a job yet you can look at a place where you want to work I think one of them she was a nurse she, was, she is a nurse and I told them which hospital do you want to work in you can look at some private hospital that you like when you see the nurses the way they are dressed you like the way they are dressed the way they you know do a contient a contient go in come in and of course so you can go there and ask for the human resource manager and say that i want or the, the biggest person there and say that i want to come and work in your place the worst thing they can tell you is that there's no vacancy but when they tell you there's no vacancy tell them i am a qualified nurse this is my certificate but i want to come and work don't pay me hallelujah i don't think that when you do that they'll say no because I mean, it's not good to go cause them anything the moment you enter there and you start working for nothing i tell you when there is a vacancy there because you are working well the first person that will consider will be you and that act of faith god will honor it and it will key you into the blessing of abraham hallelujah every day after abraham got the promise he was thanking god and saying god i thank you that that seed has come i thank you that that child has come i thank you that that child of promise has come and i am expected i'm exercising myself as to how to become a father even at the age of a hundred and because of that act of faith god imputed it or gave it put it on him as righteousness let us have some men of faith let us have, let us not be people that every time we are making mountains out of molehills you don't have you want you want uber from your house to church but god has given you natural uber two lovely legs you are not a cripple when you are walking you can be singing and praising god going and coming stop complaining walk by faith begin 
ought to do something. Hallelujah. Don't be a passive Christian. Be an active Christian. Begin to do something. That is how you will begin to actualize the blessing of Abraham in your life. There's something that you can do. God will bless what you are doing. Somebody say amen. He did not strike out the promise of God through unbelief. He was strong in faith. He was giving glory to God. Verse 21. And he was fully persuaded that what God had promised, he was able also to do. I am praying in the name of Jesus Christ that somebody within the reach of my voice that today you are considered to be a nobody. Not long from now, you will be seen as a somebody because you are fully persuaded that the one who has promised he will keep his promise he has promised he will never fail i will hang on him i will hang on him i will hang on his word i will declare his word i will pray but i will not only pray i will act on my prayer i will act on the word of god i will take some steps of faith i'll leave the comfort zone that i have i will leave even the place where i am uncomfortable where i am comfortable to a place where i must rely on god hallelujah hallelujah some of us our our we, we are we are we are our ability to resist difficult situations is too low somebody was telling me today that when the when the apostle paul says that we are more than conquerors it means that there are conquests that we must have it means that there are battles that we must win and that is why he said fight the good fight of faith hallelujah because that is how you will be able to actualize the blessing of abraham is by faith by faith i can do all things through christ who strengthens me anybody that you see who is doing well started from somewhere they sat where you sit now but they did not continue sitting where they sat they rose up and they said that i will take a step of faith i will go and knock upon that door i will begin to sell that thing i will begin to move in a different direction that is how i can actualize the blessing of abraham that is how i can also become a blessing to my generation to my people to my family and i'm praying in the name of jesus christ that some men and some women will rise up from where they are and begin to walk by faith when we do that we will be actualizing the blessing of abraham that is how that is how it will be done my friends that is how it will be done it must be by an act of faith it must be by the work of faith the apostle peter in first peter chapter 1 verse 24 25 he said that everything will pass away but the word of god that word it will remain there when we are walking by faith we are standing on the word of god standing on the immutable word of god standing on the unchanging word of god that that word of god says that you are part of the lineage of abraham that is blessed so you must be living a life of blessing hallelujah and actualize it by faith may god give you a revelation of faith May you begin to do so. May you stop complaining. May you stop murmuring. May you stop telling yourself that I wish I was like somebody. Stop wishing you were like somebody and begin wishing that you were more like yourself. One more thing I want to tell you. And I believe that this month will have a lot of time to talk about how to actualize this promise. We will look at the life of Abraham. In Genesis chapter 22 the Bible tells us when you look you know after Isaac had been born and then God told Abraham that please this your child of promise I want you to take him and then offer a sacrifice to me 
And so he took him to Moriah. <coughs> In verse 10, the Bible says, Abraham stretched forth his hand and took the knife to slay his son. Verse 11, and the angel called him out of heaven. He said, Abraham, Abraham. And he said, here am I. And then verse 12, he said, lay not your hand upon the lad, neither do any harm to him. For now I know that thou fearest God, seeing thou hast not withheld thy son, thine only son from me. Verse 13, I want to just, and Abraham lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, behind him a ram caught in the thicket by the thorns. And Abraham went and took the ram and offered him up for a burnt offering in the stead of his son. Verse 14, and Abraham called the name of that place Jehovah Jireh. May God be your provider. May God see to your case. But let's go on. Verse 15. And the angel of the Lord called unto Abraham out of heaven the second time. Verse 16. And then he said, By myself I have sworn, says the Lord. For because thou hast done this thing and hast not withheld thy son, thy only son, that in blessing I will bless you. In multiplying, I will multiply thy seed as the stars of the heaven and as the sun which is upon the seashore and in thy seed and thy seed shall possess the gates of their, their enemies I believe that for us to actualize the blessing of Abraham we must be ready to sacrifice hallelujah Abraham was ready to sacrifice some of us we are not ready to sacrifice anything but we want to walk in the blessing of Abraham Abraham was ready to sacrifice what have you sacrificed what have you given up so that you can get this promise of Abraham or this promise of the blessing of Abraham the Bible tells us Romans chapter 12 says, we ourselves we must be living sacrifice you cannot actualize the blessing of Abraham minus sacrifice. Hallelujah. We cannot get there without sacrifice. We cannot get there without some pain. The interesting thing is that when you look in, um, um, I won't read it because of time. When you look in Hebrews chapter 11, I think verse 17 or so, it says that by faith Abraham sacrificed Isaac so from the sight of God Abraham had sacrificed Isaac already they had given him up it was an act of obedience I am praying that God will bring you to the place where you are unless you are ready to let go of what is in your hand you cannot receive what God has for you. If you are holding on so tightly to what you have, then you cannot receive what God. When when Abraham gave up Isaac, he said that now I know that you obey me. And then he said, God sat down and said, In blessing, I'll bless you. Hallelujah. I will give you the gifts of your enemies. Your children shall also be blessed. Some of us here. We need families to turn around. Curses must cease. Poverty must cease. Failure must cease. But we must be ready to pay the price of sacrifice. Hallelujah. If you come to church, it's a problem for you. If any man will come after me, let him take up his cross daily follow me so that we can also benefit from the blessing I want you to ask God two things God show me an act of faith that I must take 
to put myself in a position to actualize the blessing of Abraham second prayer say God show me what I have to sacrifice so that I will align myself into the blessing of Abraham a blessing of long life and good health and wealth a blessing of victory a blessing of your peace thank you Lord Jesus just pray for a moment or two just pray for a moment or two in the name of Jesus Make it very capable, Sakataya. Make it very, Baba. Give us a revelation, oh God. Give us a revelation. Give us a revelation. We are not where we ought to be. Give us a revelation. Let us take some acts of faith. Give us a revelation of the sacrifice we have to make so that we can enter into the promises and into the blessing. Of Abraham in the name of Jesus thank you for listening to the message visit us on www.harvestinternationalministries.org send us an email through office at harvestinternationalministries.org or call us on 0302-222-372 or 0302-229-109. God bless you.